What's up guys? This is Evan with Backwoods Adventure Mods. I'm excited today to release our Drifter Series roof racks. Now we've got these for the Toyota 4Runner as well as the Transit High Roof 148, 148EXT, the Promaster High Roof 159, 159EXT, and the Sprinter High Roof 144, 170, and 170EXT. Now we're going to climb up top and talk about the differences between our Drifter Series rack and our original style roof rack. Okay, I'm up on top of a 170 Sprinter. This is our HD style rack. This is the one that we've been selling. Uh, it comes with two different options for the front, a slim and an XL. Uh, it's customizable. Uh, you order it in advance once you know where your um, fan, AC, or any other roof accessories are in the van. And we build it around those cutouts, as you can see here. And then you've got the rest of the deck space to put any other accessories you want. The accessories bolt down with um, just a, a through bolt through any of the holes in the perforation, or you can use a plus nut. Um, this one ships truck freight in either three or four pieces, and each panel weighs about 75 pounds, so you can install it with just a couple people. Here we are on top of a Transit 148 EXT, and this is our brand new Drifter Series rack. So first thing I'd like to point out is this ships in a much smaller, more cost-effective package than our HD rack. Uh, it's lighter as well. In fact, uh, one person can do this installation by hooking a couple pieces together and setting it up, and then you can actually just carry one piece at a time and assemble it on top. Another major benefit is that you don't have to plan everything out in advance. So for example, if you're a builder, uh, you could keep these in stock because you put the extrusions, the crossbars in wherever you want to based on where your air conditioner, fan, or whatever else comes through the roof is. And then you can attach your solar panels down wherever you want. And if you wanted to order more extrusions, you can do that and make more of a solid deck space. The rack comes with 10 extrusions for the longest vans, eight for the medium length vans, and six extrusions for the shorter vans. This length of van comes with 10 extrusions. I think we only have eight in this particular van, uh, including the one behind the fairing, actually just seven, um, but easily we could add more. So not only can you buy more extrusions if you want, also we offer the roll-in slide nuts that go in the track here. And the major benefit there is you don't have to take your extrusion off of the rack to slide the nut in from the end. You just roll it in from the top. So you can put it wherever you want and add accessories after the fact. Uh, in the front fairing of the Sprinter and Transit, there's a spot for a 50 inch single row LED light bar. Uh, it's not installed in this rack yet, but you can see the cutout for it. The only exception to that is the Promaster and there's no cutout in that fairing. Uh, however, you can bolt that light to the top of the fairing. It's just a little bit shallower on that van. Lastly, this is the same ladder that we use with our other roof rack and that we sell on the Backwoods site. Uh, you just have to specify that you're putting it on a drifter rack so we build you the correct top section. So those are the main differences between our original style rack and the new Drifter series. I appreciate you guys watching. These are available now on our website and you guys can reach out to us there, backwoodsadventuremods.com. Thanks for watching.